Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at how to check the health of your hard drive or SSD. Now, quite a few people, even on our Discord server, pop on and they've got issues with their PC. And sometimes these are related to your hard drive. So you may start receiving error messages that are related to your drive itself or your operating system. And this is because the drive is starting to fail and this can cause major problems. Maybe you've got a drive on your system and you're running checks with some software and it's showing up with bad sectors or it's showing up as a bad drive. If you start seeing some of these signs, then it's time to start thinking about backing your data up and replacing your drive. You can see here, this drive is showing up as bad. No matter what you're trying to do with this drive, it's not going to be repaired. It's at its life. This is a M.2 NVMe drive and it is absolutely finished. These will just die of death all of a sudden and you can lose your data at any given time. So the most common symptoms of a bad drive is a file cannot be read or written to the drive itself. Another one is going to be a blue screen of death on your computer where the file needs to be repaired. You'll get this blue screen popping up every so often and it can be other types of blue screens as well. Free applications constantly freeze up and crash. Another one would be that frequent errors occur while moving files from one place to another. This could be transferring files from one place like a drive, one drive to another drive, and one of those drives is going bad and it will have trouble reading and writing to that drive. So the fifth problem would be computer running really slow, especially while accessing large files. It can take forever. Also, six strange sounds coming from the drive, like a grinding sound or repeated loud clicking noises. If you've got any of these symptoms, it may be time to start thinking about backing up your data. Do not trouble yourself trying to test the drive. Back up your data immediately. Now, doing long testing on the drive can stress the drive even more, and you can end up losing all your data. So back up first, then test your drive afterwards. So here we have disk management. You'll see here on here when I plug in a drive, you'll see that this drive doesn't have a drive letter. I can right click on this. It won't allow me to give it a drive letter because the drive is failed. Uh, the controller has gone. You can see there's a red cross here and it doesn't matter whether I try to format it. It's not going to let me do anything with this drive. Now you may see people saying that you can, uh, you know, mark bad sectors so they don't access those bad sectors anymore. If you start seeing bad sectors on your drive, in my personal experience, it's time to replace that drive. Now, unless you're a Linux user, well, they will say you can mark it and you won't have any issues. You're running basically Russian roulette with your data. It can literally end at any time and you can lose everything. So if you've got precious data on there, I would not rely on it. You can use software like Crystal Disk Info, and this is going to give you some sort of smart readout of your drive to tell you whether your drive is in good health or whether it's failing or it'll say caution or bad or something like that. If you start seeing any of this stuff inside Crystal Disk Info, it's time to start replacing your drive. Start backing up your drive and also replace it. So normally you'll start getting sounds from mechanical drives like a whirring sound or clicking or some sort of weird noises coming from the drive itself. Now, if you've got an SSD, you're not going to get any sounds from it at all because it's non-mechanical, which means sometimes when they let go, they will just completely die. And I've had it happen to me quite a few times that a terabytes written to drives is pretty high, but it depended on what type of drive you've got. Sometimes the controllers fail on them. Sometimes the drive just dies at death and you will not be able to get your data back unless you take it to a special data recovery lab. So, you can test the surface of the disk as well if you want to by using software. And this will give you an idea whether you've got bad sectors, any bad read errors or any bad blocks on the drive. But I can't stress enough, you don't want to be doing any of this sort of stuff if you've got a suspicion your drive is starting to fail. The first thing you should be doing is backing up your data because doing these sorts of tests to your drive will tax your drive and make it you know, work a little bit harder. And if it's on its way out, it can let go at any time and you can end up losing all your data. So it's best to back up first and then you can troubleshoot and diagnose your drive to your heart's content because your data is safe. 
Now you can do tests inside command prompt and there is a test you can do and you can type out the command which I'll put on the screen for you and this will allow you to test the drive. Again, don't do this if you haven't backed your data up yet. It's check this basically chk dsk space and the drive letter that you want to check and in space forward slash f space forward slash r and run this. It will take a long time to complete. Bear that in mind but it will give you a full report and it will tell you whether there's bad sectors or anything like that on the drive. If there is, then it's time to replace the drive. It will try to repair certain things and it can mark uh, bad sectors, but you really don't want to uh, use that drive once it starts to show signs of failing. Now, if you don't want to use command prompt, you can actually right click on the drive and go to tools. And this will allow you to do a check disk on the drive from here. And you'll see it will tell me the drive is in working order and it doesn't need to have anything done to it because it's working okay. So when you click here, you'll basically get a message like this. So if you've gone to reinstall Windows to see whether it's an issue uh, with Windows or whether it's an issue with your hardware and you're having issues installing Windows, sometimes that can be due to the reads or the writes to the drive and it can't uh, install Windows correctly. And it's normally a sign that your drive is starting to fail as well. Now, Western Digital do some really nice software, which they've just upgraded and updated, and it allows you to give a full uh, diagnostics of your drive. It will tell you the smart readout. It will give you other information about your drive as well. So installing some sort of software like this on your system and keeping tabs of what's going on with your drive is essential. And you can see here, you can check the performance here. You've also got some optimization and trim settings and write cache settings. You've also got the SMART, which is your smart diagnostic short test run here. You've also got a long test. If you're having issues, it will generally show up in the short test. But if you really want to test your drive, you need to run tests like these and it will give you some information about your drive. Again, if it's if it's telling you you've got bad sectors or the drive is starting to fail, it's time to move on. So you can see here, there's some other things under settings, You've got dark mode and a bunch of other things like temperatures and other things like that. You can also select your drives up the top here. It does work with SSDs as well. So you can check those out. It does have some sort of shortcuts here as well, down on the bottom right hand side where you can get access to disk management and system properties and device manager as well by clicking on those. You can see the drive health is in green. So it's pretty decent bit of software uh, for quickly diagnosing your drives. Now, if you have an SSD installed on your system, you can use the proprietary software that comes with that SSD. You can go to the manufacturer's website, whether it be Kingston, Adata, Samsung, all the big major leading brands will have their own software, which will give you all the information about the health of your drive, whether it be an NVMe drive, M.2 drive, or whether it be just your standard SSD drives, like your SATA SSDs, it will generally come with some software and you can install it and it will tell you all this information about your drive by using that there. Now, if you want to get some backup software, you can use Macrim Reflect. It's a free piece of software which allows you to back up your data and get it stored. Now, obviously, you want to store this data on a good known working drive. Now, there's other software you can use, like uh, IOMI Backupper, and you've got other software out there as well. So choose which one you want to use, uh, whether you want to use Acronis or whatever it is that you like using, and then basically back up your data. Whether you want to back up a whole drive or whether you want to take an image or clone your drive or whether you want to, you know, back up just the actual data like inside of there, like folders and stuff like that, you can do that as well. Macro Reflect has that option, but it is a paid option. But there is ones out there you can use which are free, which will allow you to do that as well. You can even do that with inside Windows, which has a uh, backup um, solution inside Windows itself. As you can see here, this is the paid option here. We can add source folders and things like that and back those up to another drive. So the golden rule is backup, backup, backup. Remember, backup your drive before you do anything on your computer or testing your drives, because if they are failing, they will just let go at any time and you will lose all your data. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. 
My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.